What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video, we'll learn how to spike a slide attack, and this video was suggested by Rick Mayo Jr. So thank you so much for this video suggestion. Before you continue watching this video, make sure that you watch my video about spiking footwork first by clicking up here because it's essential to learn how to jump off of two feet before you learn how to jump off of one foot. There are many ways to run a slide, so I'll teach you the most common way which is a three-step angular approach. First, you must practice a slide approach without a ball. Start in the middle of the court or slightly to the right behind the 10 foot line. Position your body so that it is facing the right volleyball pole with your left foot back. Start the slide approach by stepping with your left foot first, then run toward the pole in three steps. Your arms should be moving like you are running on your first two steps. Then on your last step, drive your knee up as high as possible while powerfully raising your arms in the attack position or what I call the Zeus position. Your body should drift slightly to the right and you should be landing on two feet. Focus on making your last two steps as explosive as possible. Even though you will drift, you should still try to jump up as vertically as possible. You can eventually develop the three step into a four or five step approach as well, which will give you slightly more power and speed. Once you feel comfortable performing the approach without the ball, then have someone toss the ball for you so you can work on your timing. Start with a medium tempo toss where you start your approach as soon as the ball is tossed. Make sure you jump slightly to the left of where you will contact the ball so you can drift into the attack zone. Most higher level teams at the university and professional level will run slides at a faster tempo. This means that the middle leaves before the setter sets the ball and the setter shoots a faster and flatter set to the middle to beat the blockers. The last step is to have someone set the ball for you so you can work on your timing with a setter. Let's look at some in-game examples of slides.
Now, we'll talk about why teams run slides. The slide is a more difficult attack to block because the attacker is drifting, which makes it more challenging for the blockers to time and position themselves for the block, and it gives the attacker a larger hitting window to attack from. The second reason is that it splits your blockers, especially when your setter is front row. If the opposing middle only had a 1 and 4 attack to focus on, then the middle blocker only has to focus on blocking what is to the right of the opposing setter. If the opposing middle blocker has to block a 4 and a slide attack, they have to make a choice between moving left or moving right. reason is that some athletes are more effective jumping off of one foot than two feet. This is especially common for basketball players who also play volleyball because a slide approach is very similar to a basketball layup. A common question I get is why is a slide attack more common in the women's game and not so much in the men's game. The slide actually used to be more common in the men's game in the 1980s because combinations were more popular at that time. However, as the D attack became more popular, which is the back row attack from the right back position, the slide became less popular. Nowadays, most men's teams would rather set a D and use their middles only for quick attacks in front of the setter, then set a slide and not have a D-ball option. Also, setting a D at the higher level men's game is pretty much like setting the front row on the right side. Even though the slide attack is not as common for the men's game, you still see some teams run a slide, such as the Brazilian and the Chinese national teams, which is cool to see. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to watch more volleyball tutorial videos about how to spike and block as a middle, make sure that you watch the video links in the description box below. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you share this video with your volleyball friends and teammates who would like to learn how to spike a slide attack. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more volleyball tutorial and highlight videos and jump training videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. He's a true center. I do it all, folks. I do it all. Every middle fantasizes about being a center. And dreams do come true. <laughs>